Okay, so let's try this one. Uh, this just says propose an efficient synthesis for the following transformation. And I was really nice to you because I said, note this synthesis takes more than one step, okay? Because a lot of you like to only put everything in one step. Do you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So anyways, the first step, of course, is going to be making the Grignard reagent, okay? Because you've got to make this thing into something that will be a good nucleophile to, you know, create this rest of it. So in order to do that, Grignard reagent is you just add some magnesium metal and ethanol the solvent. Okay, you don't necessarily even have to put ethanol in there. And then once you do that, of course, you're going to have the Grignard reagent. Very good nucleophile, right? Because if you recall, like that, carbanion, right, effectively, right? Um, so the second step is going to be, well, let's write this as the first step over here. So the next step is you want to add that carbonyl group, right? So in order to do that, remember, just add carbon dioxide. Okay, and that'll give you the carboxylate anion. <coughs> like that. Yeah, you remember that, right? That's, that, that's how to add, you I, know? Those, I did those a couple times the other day. Did you put dry ice? Remember we talked, I think, about it this one. Yeah. Or bubbling in. Uh -huh. But I just did that mechanism a few times the other day. Okay. So that, right? Um, but we're still not there yet, right? Uh, we actually should have protonated this afterwards. Okay, so this is, in this case, step one and two. So this would be one, two, three, if you're looking at it that way. So this would no longer be this. And now would be this. Nice catch. Thank you. <laughs> I used to be a receiver, you know, that's why I have such good hands. <laughs> Anyways, so you could do this a couple of ways, you know. Um, so I can't remember how, how I, let's see. I did NaOET, uh, so sodium ethoxide and ethanol. But you could have done it um, ethanol plus um, hydronium ion. Either way would do the same thing. And you're just going to take this proton, remove it, and add the ethyl group. So, like I said, I put on the um, key NaOET ethanol, which is fine, or you could have done it the other way, doing ethanol and H3O plus or H2SO4 or something like that, catalytic. Either one of those will give you that product. So you'd be protonating and then just the strong base. Do you want to go over that mechanism? Sure. Uh, Actually, no, I'd rather do the CO2 one. You want to do that mechanism? I think there? I had a problem with that because I was doing the CO2. Okay, one let's there. do that mechanism. So can I erase everything else then? Mm -hmm. So we're looking at this, and we want to draw a mechanism for it. So you want to think of this as the carbanion. And you've got CO2. Like that. Very electrophilic carbon. You've got these two oxygen. And not one of them off. Okay, I remember that. And then it's perfect. Yeah. See, you didn't even need me to teach you that mechanism. Since I taught you it before. And of course, you still got that MGBR to be the counter ion on there. And then, like you said, H3O plus it, and then metal. Give you that. Any questions on that one? 